Do you struggle with nagging neck pain, mid-back pain, and headaches after working at a computer all day? In this video, we're going to discuss the syndrome we are seeing a lot of our desk working patients get. We're also going to show you what you can do to reverse, stop, and prevent this from ever happening to you. Be sure to stick around to the end because I'm going to give you the exact exercises I prescribe to each and every one of my patients for this particular syndrome. All right, guys, let's dive in. In our office, we have seen a massive shift in what conditions we are treating. Before, patients would come in with aches and pains due to hard physical labor. Now we're seeing a lot of patients with less physical jobs come in our office with the same intensity of pain at the, as those with less physical jobs. So what exactly is happening here? What we have found is the posture our patients with desk jobs or anyone who works at a computer, whether it be studying or looking at your phone or too long or whatever it is, the posture they're being put in is causing them to develop a very painful syndrome called upper cross syndrome. Upper cross syndrome is, char is characterized by tightness in the upper back, specifically your upper traps and your levator scap muscles, tight pecs on your chest, and then we have weak neck flexors and weak lower traps, which are in the middle back. This pattern of imbalance creates joint dysfunction in our necks. This usually leads to neck pain and headaches. And then also the weak muscles in the mid back resulting in pain and discomfort around your shoulder blades. After some time, tissues start to change for the worse and cause abnormal movement patterns. These patterns cause your body to work differently than it's intended to do. Now, the typical posture changes that are seen in upper cross syndrome are forward head posture and then that hump that's starting on your mid back. This is due to poor posture and slouching at the computer for too long, too many days in a row. Now, what also happens while sitting at your computer for too long, our body starts to compensate different ways. The muscles that are underactive begin to develop more weakness and will atrophy in the long term. Since these muscles are essentially being turned off, our body compensates with hyperactive muscles, which are muscle spasms, in return giving us less flexibility with those hyperactive muscles. If you're watching this video and all this talks of muscle spasms and pain are sounding really familiar to you, Let's get on with talking about how we can actually correct these issues. So what we have to do is, is the exact opposite of what our body has transformed into. We have to stretch the tight muscles and strengthen the weak muscles. If your vehicle is low on oil, what do you do? Well, you put oil in it. Now, our body is just like a car. It's a machine. We have to constantly look after it and take care of it. It's about getting our body back into its most optimal position one step at a time. So. Step number one, we have to stretch the pecs and stretch the upper traps. The pecs primary function is to provide movements to the upper limbs or ribs, which if your pecs are tight, it pulls your shoulders forward, resulting in your shoulder being in a slightly different slot. We also need to stretch the upper traps. The traps main functions when healthy are to aid in neck range of motions and help you maintain a proper upright posture. With these muscles being tight, you can see where neck and shoulder range of motions are extremely limited. So stretching the pecs and upper traps will not only restore proper function to the muscles, but also restore the proper posture the body was intended to have while working at a computer all day. Step two is strengthening the neck flexors and middle to lower traps. Strengthening and stretching are different exercises. Stretching is slow, sustained lengthening of the muscles, while strengthening is repeated muscle contractions until the muscle becomes tired. By strengthening the neck flexors and middle to lower traps, we're helping stabilize our bodies to stay in a good position. As I tell my patients with adjustments and stretching, if we if we don't do any stability training exercises, we will never be able to get anything to stick and you'll have to just keep coming back and getting adjusted, which nobody wants to do. That's why it's important to get things moving better and then do the necessary things to make things stick. So we take these weak muscles and strengthen them up so they have more stability and they hold everything together like they're supposed to. 
Now, for the real reason we're all here, what are the exercises we need to do and how do we do these exercises? The first exercise is to stretch the upper trap. In this video, you can see where Dr. Egan grabs the table, which you can use any chair you have access to. After he grabs the chair, he then leans his neck to both sides. Grabbing the chair will create the correct amount of tension we need in order to accomplish this stretch. The second exercise here is the pec minor stretch. As you can see on this video, Dr. Aiken places his arm above his head on the table and sinks his hips back backwards in order to stretch that pec minor. You can also use a door frame to accomplish the same thing. Place a hand on each side of the door frame, then gently lean through using your body weight to help stretch those pec muscles. And the last exercise is chin tucks. With this exercise, you can see how Dr. Egan retracts his chin and makes somewhat of a double chin. The way to do this exercise is not to flex your head forward or lean your head backwards. It's to retract your chin straight back as if you were making a double chin. This is used to activate and strengthen the muscles in the front of your neck. Now, if you want access to these videos, we made a free upper body posture course that you can access on our app or through our website. At the making of this video, we have our app on the Apple for our Apple users, but our Android friends, we're still working on that app. So if you're an Apple user, you can go to the App Store. If you're an Android user, just click on the link and go to our website down in the description and you'll get the exact same thing. All right, guys, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We will be putting out videos just like this every week. If you have any questions, throw those down in the comments. We love to answer questions. That's what we're here for. All right, guys, see you next video.